Citizen Sleeve. Hello, I am Citizen Sleeve, and let's talk about Microsoft possibly acquiring EA, Valve, or PUBG. It's an interesting one, and we all know Microsoft have got an incredible amount of money stuffed away. But, do we really think they're going to buy EA? Let's start there. Okay, so I don't. EA doesn't make at all any sense to me. Why would Microsoft buy one of the biggest publishers in the world when that publisher has licenses for an incredible amount of properties that aren't theirs? On top of that, EA will just fall apart. They're a multi-platform publisher. Without being able to publish across every platform to make as much money as possible, and then to also appease those licensees, like Disney, for instance, it would all go away. They wouldn't make enough money. So if Microsoft bought EA, EA would fundamentally become a different company. It makes no logical sense to me. Valve makes a tiny bit more sense. Microsoft have been moving in a PC-ish direction with the Windows 10 Store, <laughs> you know, releasing exclusive on there, making sure that if you buy a copy of one of their games, you also, and other companies' games actually, you also get the PC version. But it's a little spec compared to Steam. If Microsoft were to buy Steam or buy Valve, they would get Half-Life, they would get Left 4 Dead 2, they would get Portal, they would get Dota 2, they would get Counter-Strike, and Team Fortress. That is a lot of exclusives that you could bring to your platform, have on Game Pass now, as they've got this new release thing where the games are going to come out at the same time they would normally on Game Pass as well, and then you start competing again in that exclusive space with companies like Sony and Nintendo. But forget all that. What Microsoft get if they buy Valve is also data and playing habits of the largest collection of gamers in one space online. So, all kind of trends and habits and what, what these gamers are doing and how long they're doing it for. But there's one major big problem with all of that. Gabe Newell and Valve, the private company, got no shareholders. So unless Gabe Newell could be convinced it was worth selling off and then he could go and do whatever the hell he wanted, something different, that's the only way I could see that happening. I, I just can't, I cannot see Valve and Gabe saying, yeah, all right, we'll sell it to you. Now, it, they might, but I, I, it's very rare. It's very rare that that would happen, I think. Now, the obvious one is PUBG. It would be a very similar kind of acquisition to what they did with Minecraft. You know, Minecraft was hitting new heights every single year. Microsoft comes in, they buy it, they keep it on every other platform, but do exclusive things as well, and it's made them a ton of money. Yeah, despite the, the original huge, what, $2.5 billion fee. So PUBG is similar. Right now, along with Fortnite, that's free, so... Right now, PUBG is one of the, if not the, most played games out there. It's huge. Even if it, even if it is in a crappy state right now, despite the updates. I'm playing it on Xbox One X, by the way. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do. That, that would make more logical sense, but again, it depends if... Battlegrounds wants to sell. Might not want to. It's got a timed exclusive, so it depends on how long that is. Maybe they'll extend that. But I do think at some point, Microsoft soon is going to announce a deal with a huge developer that they've bought. Because they need to bolster their lineup, get stronger exclusives, and compete that little bit more with you know Nintendo's massive library of incredibly popular exclusives and all this stuff that Sony's doing right now, things like Horizon, yeah, all those awesome games, and the back catalogue, all the stuff they've got, God of War, all oh, Uncharted, my god, loads of stuff. So that's where I stand. EA, hell no. Valve, probably not. Unlikely. PUBG, possibility. Right, tell me what you think in the comments. Am I totally wrong? Are Microsoft right now in talks to buy EA? Am I totally right? Do you think EA is nonsense? Well, why the hell would they go after that kind of company? Talk to me. Let's have a chat. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you enjoy the channel, sub to it. If you didn't like the video, give it a dislike. That's what it's there for. Not everybody likes everything. I shall see you very soon. Take it easy. 
citizen slave.